Hi again, welcome to another episode of Demons TV. Uh, lucky enough to have some uh, boys that are playing in the grand final this weekend for the Perth Football Club um, in the reserves competition. We have Daniel Venditti uh, and Cameron Jones, who uh, was one of the Colts players this year, but lucky enough to debut in the reserves uh, preliminary final against East Man on the weekend. Welcome to Demons TV, boys. Hey, Jared. Jared. Welcome to, uh, God, glad to have you here, I should say. Now, spare seat next to me, you'll be wondering who, uh, who that should have been. Dean White, hair appointment, would you believe? Unbelievable. So he couldn't get out of his haircut appointment uh, and he's missed the Demons TV slot. So let's hope he's looking pretty sharp for uh, the, the game on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just move on to Diddy. So, look, mate, obviously from Mannington and, and you've been to the club for nine years, um, since under 15 as a 14 year old. I guess there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of rumours going around about 2012 for you. Uh, can Demons TV have the scoop about? Where are you going to be uh, next year? Yeah, well, I suppose a sco- yeah, scoop at this stage um, to take it up a position with work. Uh, Bunnings over east, so moving across to Melbourne um, to catch up, I suppose, and live with a, a few blokes who used to play footy here in the past. Um, Jared McCorkle, Nathan Ryan, uh, Paul Bunn. So I stayed in touch with those guys and, yeah, just made it, made it making the move across middle of October. Um, so I've got a good job lined up, good opportunity there. And, um, yeah, we'll have a kick somewhere. I'm unsure at this this moment whether it be VFL preseason somewhere or or an amateur club, but yeah, we'll cross that bridge just when it comes. But that's yeah. what I'll be doing next year at least, and who knows after that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, yeah good. bit of a good uh, chance for a good ending, I suppose, this weekend. Yeah, well, obviously it'll be sad to, uh, sad to see you go. When I came in '05, you were here, and yeah, look, it's, you've been a massive con- kind of contributor to the club, and and yeah, obviously Vince Pendle, uh, you know, our board receiver. Um, you know, reserves being there last year and, and playing line to get another one this year. Um, and as Nifty said, it's not the ones you want to win, but yes, yeah, look, it's still a great achievement. Yeah, yeah so, um, and just, I guess, touching on the grand final, it must be pretty exciting for the boys. I know, you know, we finished training back in the uh, start of September in the league level, and, and it's really very envious of watching the boys play train in September. Yeah. Um, it must be exciting. Yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose finals at any level, uh, Colts Reserve or League is, is pretty good. Um, in 2006, my first year of seniors, I came back after a few league games and played in the Resis finals and we mm. finished top two and got knocked out um, after two weeks. We lost both games, so we managed to go one step further this year and, yeah, very good chance this Sunday um, against a strong Claremont team, so we'll give it our best shot, I suppose. But, yeah, finals at any level is great. Just touched on Claremont. They obviously got a team in the each uh, level, Colts yeah. Reserves and League. Pretty good effort. Um, we'd love to knock them off. Yeah. Uh, so obviously the first final we lost them. How do you see that changing? How, how can we knock them off? Um, probably, yeah, changing in personnel. So we had a few injuries that game, which didn't help. A um, few players below, yeah, below full fitness. Um, and to lose by only seven points mm-hmm. at their home ground as well. Yeah, take a lot out of that. So we'll study up their, their tapes over the next few nights and um, yeah, see so how we can counteract some of their strengths and just act on our own as well on the big expanses of Patterson Stadium, which yeah, should suit us. Definitely right. So uh, obviously it's Wednesday night, the boys are training tonight, so we'll keep moving on. Uh, as I said, uh, Cameron Jones here from the Colts, competi- uh, Colts program this year, uh, debuted with us uh, last week against East Fremantle. Uh, welcome Cam, and uh, how did you find it last week, uh, debuting in a prelim? Um, yeah, it was very different to Colts football. People were a lot bigger than I'm used mm-hmm. to, and... Yeah, it was very different. Yeah, for sure. And sitting up in the stands, you're obviously playing down back, and it's just every time I went down there, it was just one of those things. I was just watching from a spectator's point of view, I had a lot of confidence in you straight away, uh, which is a really good thing to have. So, uh, from your point of view, have you always played down back? You look pretty comfortable down there. Um, yeah, last few years I've played down back um, since school, which is, yeah, I like down back. Um, I think because you have to follow someone, so it's not your. You don't have to make things up. That's yeah, how I think. Yeah, for sure. And an old Wesley boy, and Wesley took out the Old Co Cup uh, this year, which is a tremendous effort. Uh, how did you boys go when you were going through the first eighteen? Uh, yeah, um, I didn't play many games the first eighteen. I only played three. Yep. Um, but we didn't go too well. We only won three or four, I think. Yeah, cool. And you played a lot of footy at Wesley Curtin too. Uh, yep. Last year we made it into the prelims, got knocked out by Trinity Aquinas. Yep. 
Stay out of rivals from school. Yeah, nah, so. actually, let me say, no, good. I think Daniel might be a Trinity boy yeah, here. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so two arch enemies coming together to play for Perth and that night. Nice. Uh, moving on to the Colts program this year, obviously, if you're going to judge a season on wins and losses, uh, it wasn't a successful year. But I guess you can't just look at that. So talk to us about some positives that came out of the year. Um, our captain was one of the big positives. He won the Jack Clark medal. Yeah, for sure. Um, he won by about 15 votes in the end, I think. Yeah, tremendous effort, was amazing. Ridiculous. Yeah, big things expected from him in the future, I think. Yeah, for sure. There's a few other boys that played. Uh, obviously, a couple of boys debuted in the league team. Uh, Fraser McInnes, Jay Gromira. Um, and other boys play in the reserves comp too. Obviously, Chris Sharon's yeah. played some pretty good footy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so again, that's that's a really good positive for the for the program next year. Just touching on the last point, mate. Uh, you've had Rick Curtis as coach for one game, and uh, and Wayne Langbourne obviously coached the Colts for this uh, this season. Uh, very different coaching styles. Uh, both got in this different paths. Rick I was out there three quarter time that's feature game. Yeah, and steering. He, he had the crazy eyes. <laughs> he had the crazy eyes going. Was that one scary? Yeah. Man. How did you find it? Oh, it was intimidating. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Compared, yeah. Yeah, and I think one of the main one of the main uh, comments he made was kick some goals. He said <laughs> in this uh, intimidating voice, and we did that, or you boys did that. So, and obviously you responded to that. So that was good to see. Yeah, tremendous. All right, boys, I'm gonna let you get to uh, get to training. Obviously, you got to duck downstairs to uh, get on Brown Stadium to practice the game style that we need to develop to win the win the grand final on, on Sunday. So. 12 Perth supporters this Sunday at Patterson Stadium, 25th of uh, September, and the game starts at 10.50, I think, yeah. so make sure you turn the clocks back a bit with your preparation <laughs> time. It's an hour earlier. Um, but, yeah, get up, get down there, Perth supporters, and uh, support the boys. Thanks for watching. From the playing fields of rival talk to a home in Lathlane Park. On the West Australian football field, we have carved a magic mark. We are called the mighty demons, and we're feared by one.